We're just coming up to the uh, second line that we set now. You can see it's been in the water for just over 20 hours. By the time we get there, I think it'll be about 22 hours, which isn't terrible, but it's not perfect either. But uh, yeah, we just want to get straight on it, no messing about. Line ourselves up first time. See it there, look. Smack bang in front of us. Hundred yards out. Some terrible steering from me there. Not sure if I'm gonna get this lined up first time. Press that a couple of times, it wouldn't work. Okay, here we go. Thirteen fish on the line. Doing good for Haddock this time. I think these are Haddock. Probably Pollock looking at them. That's a red fish, clearly. Sure, what that is. Fifty one per cent perfect. 56% perfect. Nice. 87 haddock this time round. Lots and lots of pollock. Maybe pollock are just way more prominent in this area. Right, time to do some gutting. Oh, that was going so well. Four stars. Four and a bit stars. four and a bit again. I'm getting better or I'm less bad. It's probably the more accurate way of saying this. Four stars. Be interested to see how much of the hull is full with this lot. So we're just over halfway full. Right, well no messing about. We need to get back to port really quickly 16 hours that's been in the water. I think we're going to lose that 500. I think we're going to lose a lot of that 500. I don't think... Um, not seem to steer at the moment. Yeah, we're going super slow. And because we're, we're not fully laden, but we're half laden, and that's making steering and speed significantly slower or less responsive. So I'm going to go kind of head in as much of a straight line as I can. Yeah, I think that 500 line is going to, is going to end up getting wasted. I hope we don't lose the line. I don't think we will. It has to have been out there for 48 hours for that to happen. But it could take us a good 12 hours to get back now. And uh, it's already been in the water for 16, so we're, we're coming on for 32 hours. I think we're going to have to, let's uh, remove all waypoints. I think we're going to have to go straight there. Just pull out a small amount of fish that we can, because we do have a little bit of space. 
So yeah, we're, we're just going to have to go straight for it. Just pull it out of the water, otherwise we're going to lose the whole line. Losing the fish that are on the line is one thing, but losing the line, I mean, that's 7,000 kroner. So I, don't, I really don't want to be losing that. So uh, yeah, we'll go and pick up the line now and then just head back to shore. And we'll have three lines, two 250s and one 500. We've learnt a lot from this first um, outing and we should have a few pennies in the bank as, as well. So possibly like 30, 40 corona. So get some fuel on board, get some repairs done and uh, we'll move on to the next uh, haul, I guess. So we're just coming up to 20 hours of uh, that 500 line being in the water. We're still a good two hours out, so it's not going to be great, but um, it's blue at the moment. I thought 20 hours was the perfect time for it to be in the water. Maybe in the next 20 minutes that will upgrade to green. I suppose um, the, the, the possibility is that once it goes green at 20 hours, it will stay green for maybe two hours or so before it go before going back to blue and then obviously down to yellow and so on and so forth um but yeah i mean this is something i hadn't really anticipated prior to i just see our marker over there prior to um starting this series i didn't really think that the more fish and the more weight you have on the boat the slower the boat's going to go so i'm glad they've introduced that because it wouldn't have occurred to me um, that that might be the case. But now that I see it is the case, it makes perfect sense that that is going to be the case. Obviously, once we've got much, much bigger boats, I don't think um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look. It's still blue at 20 hours. Oh, it's not quite 20 hours yet. Almost 20 hours. Four minutes to go. And uh, we are making progress but very, very slow progress. Very slow. <laughs> oh, we're doing five knots, everybody. Five knots. Hold on to your horses. Five knots. We are absolutely fine. Good job it's not rough sea. That's all I can say. Right, that's got to be 20 hours now, isn't it? 20 hours and three minutes, and it's still blue. It's not green. So I I'm wondering whether... <clears throat> Whether that statement at the beginning about 20 hours being the optimal, optimal amount of time to, uh, to pull pulling out the water is true or not. Maybe that's not the case. We'll have to learn. We'll have to uh, investigate and learn. I just spotted our marker over there. So we better head in that general direction. Now because I'm nervous about losing the line, I am, as I mentioned, contemplating pulling it out of the water early. But I don't know that that is early. If you look at that progress bar, we're 20 hours in and it's still blue. Hmm, I just don't know. Learning as we go, learning as we go. Okay, so our third line, our first 500 line is just up here somewhere. See it yet? Bang in front of us, ish. Um, and I'm thinking, going so far into the sea is pro there it is. I see it. I see it. It's probably kind of counterproductive because it takes so long to get back that we end up risking the fish and the lines that we've set fish that we've caught and the lines that we've set uh, as a result of that. So I'm thinking maybe we'll put all three lines closer to shore, increase the uh, capacity of our hold and just try and fish the lot uh, in one hit. I think that's the best way to do it. So we'll, we'll go from port to our 
fishing location. We'll, um, we'll set all three lines, then we'll go back to port and we'll skip time. And then we'll go back out and try and pull the whole lot up in one go. I suppose whilst we've only got a small hold at the moment, what might make more sense than that would be to go out and lay two lines or the 500 uh, and then just pull those in. So we're constantly laying one, selling, going back so that we're, we're not wasting a journey as it were. We're always doing something. Right, uh, let's try and get alongside here. And then we can pull this line in. Any minute now. <laughs> very, very slowly coming up on this. Are we close enough? Am I too far away? Is that the problem? Oh, I am actually much further away than I realised. This is cheat. Let's use external view for this one. Sails nice and close. And then turn the other way. Swing the boat round. Perfect. Yes, we would. Now I know we're going to fill up before we've got them all in. So we're going to lose fish here, but what's more important to me is that we don't lose the physical line. The line is very expensive. Uh, so I want to keep the line and make sure that we've got that for the next haul. Doing a terrible job here. Um, so yeah. In fact, you know, doing a terrible job here is a good thing because We've only got so much uh, capacity that we can have, so the less that I pull out off this line, the less we're going to waste. 15 we get to pull in, so number 9. Number 10, 5 to go. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Lots of red fish in this one then. That looks like a haddock to me. In my unskilled, trained eye, another good haddock pull in there. Hundred and eighty two. Storage is full. Okay. Yes, we'll gut some fish. Really not clear what those big bubbles on the outside of the fish actually represent. They are a total pain in the ass. really is the hardest flipping hell. Look at that. That was miles off. Oh, crikey. Okay, so the hold is totally full. All we need to do now is head back to port. And um, that could take some time. Let's just go inside and see how slow we're going here. Yeah, we're basically doing two knots. Or maybe even one knot. Let's... Uh, 1.2 knots. Oh my lordy lord. Yeah, this is going to take some time to get back to port. So clearly going further out to sea and coming back at this pace is going to put the freshness of our fish uh, into question, really. So whilst we only have a small engine and a small boat and just a few lines, uh, I think I think it's it makes more sense to be kind of proactive and, and just stay closer to shore. 
until we've got enough money to upgrade the engine and upgrade the hull. We should get quite a decent amount of money for this. What did we get for the last one? I think, what was it, 18? Oh, I forget now, how much was it? Let's say for argument's sake, 25,000. So we've got twice the amount now, so we should be getting about 50,000 krona. All the upgrades and everything are quite expensive, plus we have to get fuel, but... Yeah, I think maybe another two, three hauls on this boat, and we should be getting close to... Um, you know, we'll have increased our, hold, our maximum hold and our speed. We'll probably be able to think about going up to the next boat at that point. What is that? Oh, it's an aeroplane! How oh, cool is that? <laughs> It's got a whole bunch of like stuff in it, like we found a speedboat earlier and now an aeroplane passing overhead. It's got lots of nice little features in that I wasn't expecting. We are way off target. Let's get ourselves back together. That is cool. I like this game. I hope you like this game too. I, I'm really enjoying this one. So we've done pretty well. We've got a lot of fish there. I'm not sure that represents to uh, a ton of fish. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. This game's just fantastic. Really enjoying this one. Really enjoying this one. Oh look, maximum speed, six knots. Good to know. I didn't. <coughs> pardon me. I didn't realise that before. So I think we were coming in here at nine knots. It'd be good if the um, port police actually would come and give you a fine for speeding. That'd be quite cool. It'd be nice also if one day the port was um, a bit more AI busy, so you got ships coming in and out and. You know, you have to be a bit more careful about your approach. You can always make a game better, always make it better, but obviously you have to take into consideration the time and the cost and the effort that that involves. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this game's going to get a big following from you guys and um, the, de the developers and the... Uh, those that make the decisions will push it for all this extra cool stuff be it dlc or paid updates i don't know but i just hope it expands i love it it's really good yes i would like to dock at the ports 303 139 that is a lot of pollock let's sell we made forty-two thousand krona not bad for our first haul Let's just, um, oh man, every time my mouse disappears. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Right, let's, uh, <laughs> just getting yanked into port here. So I can't look around, interestingly, whilst I'm in port, but that's okay. So I'm just going to save the game here, guys. Okay, so we've done pretty well there, I've got to say. Let's look at the logbook. That's... 26,000, 42,000. So in total, we made 68,000 on that first haul. I am really impressed with that. We've got a plus 1.3 krona for this. Oh, port reputation, price change. Yeah, I don't. There's a lot of information here that I don't genuinely don't fully understand. So the price is 15.9. So, oh my goodness me, Redfish is way, 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 way more profitable. Than, uh, than anything else. And there's me going, 
<coughs> all out for catching haddock, and I should have been paying more attention to the redfish, it seems. Okay, well, all this information, all the statistics, and all the everything that is involved in this game will become more uh, natural and more obvious to me as I play more. So please join me again for the next episode where we will be going out and setting our all three of our lines up and um, expanding the ship's capacity and all sorts of things. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you've got any questions, suggestions, recommendations, or just want to say hi. It's all good. Until next time, take care. Goodbye for now. <laughs>